pressure's pretty high. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna backwash. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, uh, turn our shut pump down. down to uh, you can shut her off. Yep. And then we'll open up that main drain valve there so that we've got both intakes open. Good. All right, and then we're going to move over here to the filter and um, go to the backwash valve. And we're going to press down on the handle and hold it down as we turn it to the backwash position. Okay. And lock it in place. Rinse, close, backwash. Press it down all the way and hold it in position down and turn it until you get to that position and then she's in position. Okay. That one's a little funky. It doesn't have a little slit that, yeah, it's, that it slides down in. Or yeah, that's just a little bit different. Um, one of the things you can do if you're worried about your filter having holes in it, um, when you do backwash, you can shut the return valve off so that the water doesn't return to the pool. Um, if there's a hole in your filter, all the dirt will come flowing back through. Um, in order to keep the pool running good, if you know there's a hole, when you backwash, shut the return valve and the debris won't return to the pool. And when you recharge the filter with the DE, you may get a little bit of DE flowing back in, but your whole pool won't turn green and you can return before the next service and change the filter elements and keep the pool looking good. All right, so now that we've set our pump to backwash, our filter, I should say, the multi-valve, now we just need to go over to the pump and turn her on. And we're gonna put her on a medium speed, say number two, and we're gonna uh, flush out that filter. When you hit the button, uh, hit number two, she should start up. And we're gonna check our pressure every time we do that. Backwash is, um, your pressure should go down to the lower number when you're backwashing. So we're looking good, it's working. We're gonna run out and we're gonna take a look at our, uh, it's about 30 seconds on the backwash. Um, and, to, and then we'll uh, rinse and uh, we'll run the backwash again and um, do another 30 seconds on both of those to make sure the filter's good and clean. All right, go ahead and stop the pump. And then we're gonna switch her over to uh, the rinse. So press the multi-valve handle down and turn okay. her to the rinse right. position. Press her down real good all the way and hold it down while you turn it. Boom. Okay. All right, now we start her up again. That's gonna suck all the dirt back onto the filter that's left in the filter so that when we run the backwash again, um, it will push that dirt that was in the bottom back out and then we'll check our, our filter pressure whenever you turn the pump on you always check the pressure and she's on rinse so she's about five we're gonna take a look at our filter here we have an FNS plus um, 36 square foot filter and that's gonna take 3.6 pounds of DE and we will put the DE in a bucket make a slurry and slowly add it to the skimmer so that it coats the filter elements. So we can kick her off now. And we can return her to the filter position. Solid in the filter position. We're back up and running. So let's hit the Make sure that we've opened up the uh, return valve if you closed it. We did not nope. So we're going to go ahead and hit the start button and start her up back on her normal position Which should be one or two depending on how she was set up And she's on two. She's running We'll check our pressure. That's what you do every time you turn on the pump or change the valves You want to always check your pressure it's a good indication of the health of your system, and if anything's going wrong right away, it will tell you. She's steady at one number, which is just around 11 PSI, which means we're running good. If that uh, pressure started to rise and kept rising, you would immediately shut off the pump, because you, that would be an indication that your return valve was closed and pressure was building up in the filter. A uh, dangerous situation. You might have to wiggle her back and forth. 
All right. We got our bucket and our DE. Uh, how many am I looking for? So the orange scoop is one pound. All right, so we've got our 3.6 pounds of DE. That was uh, three. The, the orange cut? Pull it out, yep. And you can rinse it off in the skimmer. Not in the pool because otherwise it's going to go right, right, right to the bottom. So we backwashed and the water level has dropped down a little bit. But this pool has an anti-cavitation um, line on the inside of the pool right down there that pulls water into the skimmer so that your, um, your pump will never run dry. It's a great thing to do when you're building a pool. And give it a tilt and let some water come in. Make sure you don't let the DE go into the pool. Get some water in here. And then we're just going to pour her in a little bit at a time and allow the uh, pump to pull it in. If you want to look in there, you can watch until once it run, starts running clear, um, we can add a little bit more. And we just want to do it nice and slow to give the filter time to coat is the real reason that you want to do it slow. Plus, if you do it too fast, the uh, filter won't be able to take it and it's going to push it right back into the pool and you'll see a white cloud. The other thing, if you do see a white cloud coming out, slow down putting in the DE. If um, you're going slow and it's still coming out of the filter, uh, running out uh, through the return jets into the pool, you have a hole in your filter somewhere, whether it's in the grids or the manifold, that needs to be repaired or your pool will never clear up.